Okay, now we're going to work on to this idea of what of a sample sum. Uh, we're going to give a random variable x and a sample of five are taken. And so the question is, what's a sample sum? Well, a sample sum is simply you take the sum of all the samples. So if I take five different values of, let's say, x1 plus x2, or here are my, my five different values, the sample sum just means I add them up. Okay, and if I want to find the expected value of that, well, if I want to find the expected value, I just add them all up. I add them all up, and well, each of these sums, I expect it to be, I can do add them all up individually. Oh, a three, I can add each of them up. Well, for my first sample, what do I actually expect it to be? Well, I expect it to be the expectation of the entire sample. As I expect the second sample to be the same, and the third sample, and the fourth sample, and the fifth sample, I expect them all to be whatever the expectation of this variant and variable is. And so I end up with five, the expected value. And so this is what a sample, this is the expected value of a sample sum is this. Now, if I come along now and if I want to do the variance of the same thing, oh, if I want to do the variance, well, I take the variance, and what I'm going to do is I am going to do the same thing. The variance of x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 plus my fifth sample means I add them all up, and so on, plus the variance of x5, well, I can see that they're five. these are all going to be the same value. So it ends up being 5 times the variance of x. And this is the variance of, this, of a sample sum. Now let's work on this idea of sample mean. Well, a sample mean means, well, what this means is I take my five values, Okay, I'm going to add them up. And because I have five values for my sample, so if I think about like a test, I, I take, I have 20 tests, and I take, randomly take five different values, and I can, re with re replacement, then I end up with five different scores here. And if I want the mean, I take and I divide by five. And so if I want to find the expectation of that, the expected value, this is going to be it. And I know because this is one fifth, I can pull out the one fifth, and the expected value of x1 plus all the way up to x5. Well, again, if I do my expected value algebra on this, this is going to be the expected value of one plus the expected value of two all the way up to the expected value of the fifth one. Each of these are the same, and there's five of them, so it's one-fifth times five expected values, which means I get the expected value of x. So the expected value of the sample means, so the average of all of these values should be what the expected value of the sample was. And that's an important idea. If I do the same thing with variance, if I do the same idea of variance here, let me change this to variance now. Skinny up my pen a little bit. Okay, if I make it with the variance, well, I know with variance, when I pull out the coefficient, it becomes squared. And it's the variance of the first plus the variance of the second all the way up to the variance of the fifth scenario, which is then 1 over 5 squared. Well, these variances are all the same, and there's five of them, so it's times 5 
variance of what the sample is, which then ends up to be 1 over 5 times the variance of x. And so this is the variance of sample means. If I do an example with this idea, let me shrink this one up a little bit so we can read it all. Okay, so take a moment, read the problem. I'm going to tennis racket, random variables x. The expected length is 40, so I know that the expected value of x is 40 centimeters. And the standard deviation, the standard deviation of x equals 0 0.5. So the variance is 0 0.5 squared. I want to calculate the expected value and the deviate, and I have my random sample, is, I take eight of them. And so if I want to find the expected value of the sample mean, well, if I want to find the sample mean, that means I take my eight values, I add them up, because that's how I find mean, and I divide them by eight. Well, I've just done this, if I want to find the expected value then of that, well, I can pull out the 1 8th and I multiply it by the expected value of x1 plus all these expected values. And now I've taken a shortcut here. It's an 8. I've taken a shortcut here and did the expected values individually, which is the same as adding them all up and then individualizing them. Well, this expected value is simply going to, there's eight of them, sorry, eight times, these are all the expected value of x, which I know is 40. And so it ends up being eight times eight times 40, which is 40 centimeters. But we already knew that that was going to be the case based upon what we did on the sample means example up here. If I want to find the standard deviation of the sample mean, well, I'm going to work on variance first. The variance of the sample mean is going to be the variance of x1 plus x2 all the way up to x8 divided by 8. And I pull this out, so this is 1 over 8 squared times eight of these variances, I add them all up, they're all the same, the variance of x, those cancel, so I have one over eight, the variance of x is 0 0.5 squared, 0 0.5 squared, and so my variance ends up being, my variance ends up being 0 0.3125. I'm looking for the standard deviation, so the standard deviation will be the square root of 0 0.3125, which is 0 0.177. Moving on then to B part, which said calculate expected value and variance of the sample sum. Well, that's almost the exact same question, except I'm not dividing by eight. Okay, so this one is just going to be, I'm going to add them all up. Uh, all these values up, plus x8, which I know is eight times the expected value, because each one of these individually's expected value is the expected value of the sample. Well, that's gonna be eight times my 40 centimeters, which ends up being 320 centimeters is my expected value of the sample sum. Similarly with my variance, this one's asking for variance as opposed to standard deviation. That one's going to be almost the same kind of idea. So it's the variance of them all. So it's going to be, there's eight times the variances, which is eight times 0 0.5 squared, which ends up being, I believe, two centimeters squared is my unit. Okay, so just a, some, some practice with calculating using our expectation algebra, our random variable algebra. 
finding this idea of a sample mean and a sample sum.